Okay, this is going to be a really quick and simple introduction to Windows Movie Maker, and we're going to look at how to add videos to a project, how to split the clip and remove pieces of that video, how to add music, add text, and then save it so that someone else can take a look at it. So let's go to the Start button here. You'll see that Movie Maker appears on my list of programs because I've been using it, but if it doesn't show up on yours, you can just type in MOV and it'll open up. And basically we have these tabs at the top that give us access to different effects and tools. Uh, we'll be using mostly the Home tab. We have the Workspace, where we're going to see all of the stuff we're working with, text and music and video. Then we have the Preview side over here, which is going to show us what, uh, what our project is going to look like when we actually uh, save it and share it with somebody. So let's get started by adding some video. We can do that two different ways. In the workspace, we can click here to browse for videos and photos, or under the Home tab, we can add videos and photos from there. Uh, we're going to be working with the wildlife clip, which is just a free clip that comes with this computer. Now, as soon as we add it, we see it show up in the workspace. We see it create a Video Tools tab up here, which will give us access to tools specific to editing video. And then it shows us what our video looks like in the preview. So the first clip is of horses. This is just a montage of various wildlife. Now, clearly, whatever clip you import, you're going to want to remove some pieces of it, or maybe you'll want to rearrange what the order of those shots. Now, in order to do that, I find it's best in the bottom right to be all the way zoomed in. So we can change the way that we view the clips, but if we zoom in, it's the we get the most detail. So if you're trying to make decisions about, oh, this part has to go, I find it easiest to be all the way zoomed in. Now, in order to you know choose a part of the clip that we want to get rid of, it doesn't really work to just play it all the way through. So notice that we can click in the workspace, and anywhere that I click, it moves the playhead. This vertical black line is called the playhead. And anywhere that I click, I can move it so that I can play from that moment, or I can click and use the space bar to play and then stop. So let's say that, you know, for this project, for whatever reason, I want to get rid of the horses. So let's look at how we remove that piece. So I'm going to press the space bar here and play. And that's where, this is where I want to start. I want to start with the birds, but I want to start right at the beginning of that. So my playhead has stopped. I want to go back to the horses, but you'll notice that when you click, you can't really get very accurate uh, about where you stop the, the playhead. So we're actually going to use this previous frame button. And that's what this is where I want to be. I want the horses to be separate, and I want to start with this clip of the birds. So my playhead is where I want it. I'm going to access the video tools. And I'm going to split the clip just by clicking that button. And now I have two separate clips. I have one that's the horses, and I have the other that starts exactly where I want with the birds. Now two things I can do. I can click the horses clip and drag it to the end. And now instead of ending here with the seagulls, I can end with the horses. Or if I wanted to get rid of this uh, clip of the horses completely, I can right click and select remove. Another way to get rid of it is to go to the Home tab and choose Remove from this editing menu, and that will also delete that. Okay, so let's say that this remaining video clip is exactly what I want my project to be. It has, you know, the seals and it has seagulls and koala bears, and it's perfect. But I want to add a little music to spice it up a little bit. Again, I go to the Home tab. I'm going to choose the Add Music button. And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to add music from this computer. And I'm going to choose just one of these sample audio clips that come here, uh, that come with the computer. And again, just like when I added the video, I got the Video Tools tab. When I add music, I get the Music Tools tab, which is going to allow us some basic functions for the music. Let's take a look at those real quick. Uh, the one that I think people will use most often is you can add a fade out. To the music. So instead of it having just abruptly end at the uh, end of your project, you can have the music sort of slowly fade out. So let's go ahead and do that. Now another function that people 
uh, typically want to use is adding text. So let's go back to the home tab here. And I can add a title to my project pretty easily. So as soon as I click on that button, it automatically introduces this text tools tab. It introduces a title card at the beginning of my project. And in the preview screen, it allows me to edit my what I want my title to be. Now I can also change the font. I can change the size. I can. There's all sorts of things that you can do, but um, I'll let you play with that uh, on your own. So let's say that this is my title. So I'm going to play it here. It's going to slowly zoom in. It's a little long, but we can edit that if we want. And then it gets into my the project that I want, which is the birds. Now, we've got the video the way we want it. We've got the audio that fades out. We've got the title with the exact font that I want. So let's, let's just say that that's the end of our project. Now I've got to save it two different ways. First way is I'm going to go up to the Save Project in the top left. And I'm going to save a Movie Maker project file. So I'm going to save that. Um, let's just save it on the desktop here. And I'm going to save it as Test Project. Now the project file is something that will allow you to go back in here and make changes and edit your project if you need to you know fix a typo or something but if you want to turn a project in or if you want to share it with somebody it's really best to go into the share menu on the home tab and we're gonna look at these save movie options I don't really like these buttons that go directly to YouTube I think it's a little more complicated than it needs to be um, but if you have an HD project you know you might want the high definition display option if you're not sure what to do, this for computer option I think is best. Um, but that would allow you to save it as its own self-contained video file. So instead of opening up the Movie Maker project where we see all of this workspace and we see the preview and all these functions, if you want somebody to just watch the video, we also need to save it as one of these two options. So um, I'm going to choose the high definition display option and notice that instead of saving it as a Movie Maker project, it's saving it as a video file, an MP4 video file. And I can also save that to the desktop. And it has to make some calculations to figure out all of these decisions we made with text and everything. But that's pretty much the nuts and bolts of how to start, make some decisions in, and finish a Movie Maker project file. So, hope this helps.